Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is a personal YouTube reading, order number 1493 for Shakti. And I will be starting with your right palm, which represents your destiny and represents your gifts and abilities and everything that is given to you. So the first thing I see that you are, you are an amazing person who dedicates who dedicates your life to family? You are very connected to your family, you're very connected to your roots, you're very connected to your ancestors, and you are extremely kind and generous and loving and giving. You are you just you just like this angel for your family that gives love to everyone, and everyone comes to you when they're in stress or in despair, if they need something. You are the soul of your family and you're the soul of the community that you're in. You have like many people looking up to you. And you have many people that that actually like in love with you for your beautiful heart. You are living at the moment. You're living in your in your day. You always sense uh, presence of this divine supporters that come to you, the goddesses, the gods that are with you that you guided with. You don't have like really the destiny has no plans for you for the future. So you. You maybe you can look ahead for one year or two years, but that's it. Like the future is not yet written for you, which is amazing. It means you can manifest anything you want in your lifetime and you can help others to manifest anything you want. It's like you're living your life for for majority of the times, like for others. You are the one who take care of many people. You are the one who you, you kind of sometimes you, it even feels like you sacrifice your life to others because you give too much attention to other people who in your life. But this is your destiny. This is what's given to you for sure. And that's why there is no future because your future is aligned with the future of others. So for example, if someone in your family will decide to move somewhere, you will follow this person. You will follow this family member for sure. And if someone decides to, to like, for example, buy another house somewhere else, it's like you're going to follow as well. You are guided by these people. You are guided by many people in your life. That's how the deities talk to you through other people. That's how they send you messages. Also, you are very connected to darkness. You have a guardian demon that you're born with. This demon is always protecting you. So he is the source of sometimes, you know, when you when you have this like situations when um, something is hard in your life something is happening and then you overreact it's like something takes over you and you react too much maybe you even yell or scream or cry and those are not the reactions or the um, you know like this is not the emotions that come from you it comes from someone else so those are the emotions that are governed by your demon and because you are very I would say angelic you have an amazing energy of a most beautiful angel and when this demonic uh, presence comes like over you this is how you behave but this is something good because you have an amazing um, balance of darkness and light in you you have an amazing balance of divine feminine and divine masculine you have an amazing balance of like four elements of nature in you Sometimes you govern by water, sometimes by air, sometimes by earth. It's like when you need to think about like money, it's always the earth element for you. When you need to be more emotional, this is when the water come and play. And this is like an amazing balance. Like not many people able to balance out everything like that, but it comes with you by being devoted to many to many deities, by being with them, by being connected with your ancestors, by being like a good, amazing person you are. Everything you do, you do from the purest like heart of yours. Everything you do, you do from good intention. You never do something of evil. You never do anything negative. You never wish for something negative to happen. And you never wish anything negative to any other human being around you. Even when the demon takes over, it's just because sometimes you are too good. And sometimes you need this darkness to come into play. And that's what he's for. Like He's helping you to connect with your darkness, to connect with your power. And to connect with, with your, like, this inner witch that you have. You have actually the mark of the witch in your palm. So it tells me that you can practice anything witchy or anything that to do with using like occult tools like tarot or 
any types of scrying in your daily life. Uh, you can even use it for fun or you can become professional at this. It's your choice because uh, your palms are showing me that you're not supposed to do like anything specific in this lifetime. Only some, th some things that are making you feel good and fulfilled and happy. So anything that you choose to do in this lifetime is supposed to be something that you truly love yourself. And when it comes to your left palm, this is your free will palm. It's actually very different from your uh, destiny. So it means that you're able to manifest a lot of things that are not supposed to happen in your life. You are connected with one of your ancestors very heavily. This person is female and she passed away and she is with you. It's like she always guarding you and protecting you and she always um, showing you what to do in your lifetime. And she is the one who saves you sometimes. You have like negative situation in your life, but you are able to overcome them because she's she's protecting you like physically. As a child, you're born an indigo child. And I see that it was kind of neglected. Uh, no one noticed. You were very different at school. You were very different uh, growing up. As a child, you were very unusual. You were born to actually create some type of art. You were supposed to do like paintings and work with elements as well, but it never happened to you. Uh, and you felt kind of disconnected from your physical body for for major part of your childhood. Maybe even, you even don't have like a lot of memories from your childhood just because you weren't really open up to your senses much. You you had the ability to to shape shift into different dimension. It's like as a child you were able during daytime without sleeping go to another dimension and see what's happening there. It's like a lot of like deities or entities would come and take you there to show you something, and those experiences uh, were the results of you behaving in this like weird way. And a lot of people are commenting on that that you like an unusual child and. Um, it kind of disappeared. It disappeared when you became nine years old. It's like you became like stable. You became fully into your body and all of these experienced experiences, they stopped. But another thing came to you. You were able to sense supernatural around you. You were able to sense um, activities of spirits or ghosts. And sometimes your physical body is reacting by like having goosebumps or becoming too cold or too hot and that's how you know that something something there that is not supposed to be there you are able to sense if the place is haunted if if the object is negative if something is not good or something's wrong if a person is possessed or the person is bad or they have like negative intentions toward people you love this is something that never changed and it's still in you you have like crazy powerful sixth sense and you have crazy powerful intuition. You have this, you know, which is a wise person, like a wise woman. This is who you are. You are very wise. You always know if, if for example, someone is telling you about like new business venture that they go into, you actually know if it's going to be good or if they're going to fail. And I think sometimes you don't even say it, but you always have this feeling like a premonition that's, it's good or bad, or if it's going to happen or not, if this couple going to get divorced or not. So you kind of sense these things, but you're not, you're not like, you know, trying to say it out loud. You just know, you just sense and feel. Maybe you share these experiences with just a few people that you trust, but you're not trying to help anyone or to like to put your ideas you know, into action or even to sharing it with the people in question. So this is something, it's like Cassandra <laughs> syndrome. Cassandra was known for being able to predict the future. She was the one who saying about the fall of the Troia, but no one believed her. So you like Cassandra, even if you say something, no one going to believe you for sure. You are connected with many deities when it comes to your magical practices. Your magic is connected with dark goddesses. And you have two specific goddesses that are guiding you and working with you if you practice. If you, even in your mind, if you ask for help, they always come. Silver is your material. Uh, it connects with the moon and it gives you the, the power and the strength and protection. 
you really need to protect yourself because you're extremely open. You have a good heart and you always trying to help people, but some people might take advantage of you or they might use you. So make sure that you wear uh, a lot of silver on you and a lot of um, things that are enchanted. Like, for example, if you go to a witch and she will do enchantment talisman for you, so you can wear it and you can be always protected. So no negativity will come your way, no hexing, no spells, uh, even... Evil entities will not come to you because you're extremely open on every realm and every dimension. You, you're kind of like a child that you don't even think about protecting yourself because, because you don't even believe in yourself fully. And that's why it's happening. Uh, you are the one who can actually give an evil eye or a hex if you dislike someone, if you feel... If you feel danger coming from a person, if you look with this all of these emotions like or negative emotions, or if in your mind you, in your heart you're saying something like I wish you like you get sick or something, it's actually always come true. So make sure that you don't put any negativity into people around you, or don't look at people if you don't like them. Like try to avoid their eyes. Like don't even give them energy. Because you are actually the dangerous one, you, you know, you have this dark witch in you. So if you, if you don't like someone, you can actually harm them just by looking at them. So make sure you always, you always on guard or about like what you say, only say good, positive things. Because good, positive things also come through. So when you say them, you're kind of giving like a good spell for people you like. You are governed by number in this lifetime this is the number of mastery and the number of um, achieving the results so anything you put your mind on you will definitely achieve and you will receive it in this lifetime you have the arachne net on your palm which tells me that you have an amazing hobby something that you can do with your hands that might become uh, a source of your income of the future but again you don't believe that this is something you should work on or pursue but maybe reconsider you have uh, the most unusual um, line that represents your physical body. So your physical body is actually like a portal for other entities to come to this world. So sometimes when you feel weird or dizzy, when you feel like you might lose your consciousness or you need to lie down, it's because some kind of activity is happening. It's like maybe some entity coming through your body into this world because literally your body is a portal. So if you want to close it, uh, you have to protect yourself, you have to be aware of the situations when it's happening and use your mind to stop this, to stop the gates, I would say, to close the gates. And the same happening wherever you are, your energy becomes like a portal. So even if your apartment, when something is happening, something negative is, for example, people are fighting, your, uh, your family members are fighting, it's because entities are coming into your apartment at the moment. It's like you have the ability to open the portal without even realizing it. So for you, when something negative is happening, always know it means on supernatural level, uh, there is some kind of invasion or intrusion from entities that are not invited. You can try to protect your house as well. Uh, I would recommend to you use hematite and tourmaline, black tourmaline. So you can place them in every corner of your house with some kind of chant or a spell that you can do yourself. So you put a spell uh, on your own apartment or house, on your home. You can do it especially at the entrances and large windows. You can use crystals or you can even use written spells and write them yourself and put them there, like at the entrances. It could be even a decoration. If a spell is printed and it's beautiful, you can just uh, hang it on the wall next to the entrance or the window or next to the mirror. And it will stop any negative energy or any negative entity from coming into your apartment. Also, you are, you are supposed to work with sigils. Sigils or, like, it's even interesting because I see the tattoo. Tattoos uh, are amazing for you because this is how you protect yourself. If you put a sigil of protection on your body as a tattoo, this is enough for you to always be safe. So working with sigils is amazing. Tattoos are perfect. And you can use sigils as art. Like if you download a sigil and again frame it and put it on your wall, it's also going to protect your space. And it's also sigils could be for enhancing the magic or enhancing your abilities for beauty, for 
manifesting abundance, health, success, anything like that. So use them as a art, like form of art. It's, it's always visible in your house. If you want to manifest health and beauty, you're supposed to have a sigil on your mirror. So every time you're getting ready uh, for your day, you actually looking you like at least a few times at the sigil because this is on your mirror that you look in yourself. For you, mirrors are interesting tools because you are a portal and you have many portals in your apartment. Mirrors are the ones who are actually enhancing the power of a portal. So the more mirrors you have, the more difficult it is to be to to be in control of this like portal situations that are happening in your home. So when you go to sleep or when you, for example, um, waiting for a lot of people to come, maybe cover the mirror, mirrors or remove, like you're supposed to have only one or two mirrors uh, in every room. And if you have two mirrors, make sure that they don't face each other. So it's like two mirrors, but they on the same wall, like not the opposite walls. You are open to water and when it comes to water make sure that you don't say any negative next to the water or when you take a shower don't say anything negative because water will kind of like make it happen so when you take a shower you can sing you can do chants uh, always be on positive note and positive mindset and by doing this you can actually attract like a lot of good positive things in your life just by taking a shower with intention when it comes to swimming as well, be careful when you swim, when you have a lot of people and you go into the water, uh, you might pick up their energies. So try to swim in the areas that are not so crowded. Your body actually very perceptive perceptive to a lot of these energies and people. You're, you're like an empath and you pick up not only energy of humans, but also energy, energy of spirits and ghosts and demons and angels and deities. So... If something happening around you, you're going to feel it right away. That's why the the mood swings, if you have them, it's not yours. It's the empathic mood swings or energy changes when you feel like you're crashing or the other second you feel like you have too much energy. This is not coming from you. This is coming from them. Your family is not really shown on your palm. So if you have kids or if you marry, they are hidden, which is amazing. So no one can harm or hex them. So... I think you did it yourself. You kind of learn how to hide people that you love and care about from the supernatural activities that happen in your life. It's like subconsciously you know that they might be at risk and you don't show them to anyone. You are an interesting person. So a lot of people stare at you. A lot of people ask you like queer questions. A lot of people want to know where you are, where you're from or who you are. What do you do? It's like they always try to strike a conversation with you first. This is, has to do with your witch energy, with your powers, with your abilities to help others. And subconsciously, people are drawn to you because you're very strong. You're stronger than, than many of them. And they want to like, they want to receive help or they want to just be next to your strong, amazing energy. So having these reactions from people are very normal uh, for a witch like you. So don't get... Don't get like bothered if people are staring. It's unavoidable for you. It's just gonna happen because you're this kind of like amazing witch. So they're always gonna stare. So let them stare. But always protect yourself. Always wear something that's protecting you from any negative energy. Your ancestors are guiding you and protecting you. The universe is open to you. It's like you are this lucky person who born under the lucky star. But sometimes you find a way to mess up everything because you might take choices that are not good for you and without listening to any guidance, you just you just decide something because you really, really want it. Uh, but usually these things are not on like crazy level, it's just like decisions to buy something or to go somewhere or uh, to be with a person that is not worthy of you. So all of these things kind of like manifest in in different situations, like your ancestors, if they're against this, they may, they're going to make sure that you experience something negative. And the situations, people or objects that are not supposed to be in your life, they're always taken away from you. This is how they guide you, and this is how they try to help you. So when you experience something bad, if you're losing friends, it's just because those people are not supposed to be in your lifetime. You are not governed by your past lives. You are not even... You might 
remember them if you want to. It's always beneficial to know where you come from, like what's your soul experienced on this planet, but you're not really supposed to be governed by your past lives. It's not something important because you are very prominent and active in this lifetime. You came with a test. You're like living through a test and you're supposed to go through this test alone. And this lifetime for you is like preparation for the next because next reincarnation is going to be better. It's going to be something different, something that you never experienced before. So you're getting ready for it. Uh, so make sure in this lifetime that you are, that you spending money on the things you want, that you're taking care of the 3D realm because next lifetime will be all about you helping others and you being a leader and you going through like very hard life before you come into wealth and power so in this lifetime enjoy everything that comes your way uh, shopping um, food uh, interesting lifestyle traveling anything that comes to you and you really want to do this do it because this is the only reincarnation when you're supposed to just enjoy your life so the more you enjoy it, the better, because this is your test if you are willing to enjoy your life and live in the life that is given to you. You are helping people just by being yourself, being there for the people. You have so many gifts and abilities. You literally can do anything I can do, but you have a choice. You don't really have to become practitioner in this lifetime. If you will become, it's your pure choice, but... Like I said, your purpose is just to enjoy the life. So whatever you do with your life, like more than this, uh, living the life of pleasure, it's it's also good, it's beneficial, but it's not necessarily. So for you, it's all about your own personal choice and direction, what you do, what you want to do in life. So the, the more you do, the better. But also, if you just simply enjoy the life, this is enough. This is your purpose. And I think you... You're supposed to help someone in this lifetime and this person will come back and help you back in your future reincarnation. So make sure that you never say no to anyone who is asking for help, especially if you have the means to help. If you can help these people, find someone who is able to help them. But you meant to be someone who always take care of others and someone who always guiding others. And just being yourself, it's enough. You know, like people when they spend a few minutes with you, they already feel better without them even realizing that. So it's like subconsciously you heal them just by being next to them. And just keep doing that, keep doing yourself. Keep being yourself. Uh, now I want to ask Tara if they have like any kind of messages for you. I chose this deck because it's it's a very powerful deck and uh, I feel that you, you didn't ask me any questions. So I think maybe, maybe you guys have some kind of message for you, like specific message. see what's there for you this is interesting you had a lot of um, sorrow for others like uh, a lot of empathy for other people and sometimes you have too much empathy sometimes you have to be a little bit more selfish suppose you're supposed to take care of you first and think about what it is you want and ask for help I know you have trouble asking for help and you are you project very strong energy and when you strong persona to the world but sometimes you need to be weak and you need to be selfish and thinking only about yourself in order to in order to like live this life with pleasure the last judgment card uh, it shows me that anyone who did you wrong will be will be punished by the demons so you shouldn't be worried about anyone who did something to you and said something to you. You're always taken care of and protected, which is amazing. I also like this card because this is the card that it's actually when I was preparing for the reading, it fell from my deck and I was looking at it and thinking this is the card that for me represents this the next reincarnation it's like getting reborn again so i think your next reincarnation is something important so you have to know that you have to know that this lifetime is kind of break so you have to take this break you have to be preparing for the next reincarnation uh, another two cards that i pulled 
this one nano swords is per cruelty that is reversed it means you are avoiding a very negative situation right now but making a choice you are you probably were presented with a person or situation that is not supposed to be happening in your life but you avoided it and i think the the reason why because you were you were very attuned to your to your guides you kind of were able to listen to what they had to say you felt and you did it it's like your achievement which is amazing so i think they want to congratulate you on that or say that it was a good job because i think the decision came to you with a very hard feelings the star card i think it shows me that because it was reversed it shows me that you're not seen or you are not appreciated for who you are i think you're hiding a lot from yourself and others and the reason why is just you know that you way more different from anyone you know from your family members you have more power you have more connection with the supernatural you're very spiritual you're very open to all of this to receive you are the type of person who always listen to guidance from uh from people from from gifted people from spiritual people from from guides from deities and you guided and sometimes you don't believe in yourself but everything that i can do you can do as well so sometimes maybe ask yourself for the answers interesting princess of pentacles and eight of swords so this tells me that you are always uh, financially taken care of the universe always provides for you but sometimes you feel that you're not giving all of the things that you want you are not you're not living your life to the fullest and yet you are so even whatever it is you have it's actually enough because because this is what destiny had planned for you since the beginning it's like you are living exactly how you were supposed to if you're not satisfied with what you have there is always a way to attract what you need or what you want in life and you have to use your own magic you have to use your own like spells or rituals to connect with the divine aspect of your soul and ask for the greater better things that you want and manifest more things manifest more abundance manifest more love more travel all of the things that you desire like manifest them yourself because your future is not written so you can change it you can have anything you want it's up to you interesting wheel of fortune which is reversed and the queen of pentacles so the queen of pentacles is the queen that always has money regardless of what she does she's always on the throne she always provided people always bring money to her so money is supposed to come easy to you but the wheel of fortune reversed before that tells me that now you might be in in this phase of your life when you feel that lack of abundance lack of prosperity the wheel of fortune one of the most amazing major arcana cards because even when it's reversed it's still a wheel it's forever changing it's forever like turning so even if you feel down at the moment or if you don't feel enough abundance it's still gonna turn your way and it's still gonna come it's all the matter of fact uh, the matter of time so you just have to wait for abundance to come back to your life when i see wheel of fortune coming into reading i always suspect there's like sudden changes of your material circumstances like sudden money coming in or help or some kind of offer that might make you rich so make sure that you're listening to this because like this tells me that big money are coming into your life and you're supposed to be open you're supposed to be waiting for them i want to check the bottom of the deck what kind of card is there hmm, interesting uh another princess princess of wands so you will be coming into some kind of experience shortly something to do with supernatural so maybe you're gonna experience some kind of new vision or guru teacher coming into you and teaching you something new so new new kind of idea will be put in your head something that you might do yourself and something that you might experience as very unusual uh, it's connected with the supernatural because you see your princess of wands and you have this hexagram on you so right right here like a pendant of a hexagram so it tells me it's something to do with demons maybe a new demon gonna be reaching out to you and make sure you answer the call now i want to ask the cards uh sorry the candle wax for any other messages that are coming from your spirit guides 
I'm using a lot of dried petals from the roses that I dried myself because I felt like this is this is something I really want to do for you. And I'm using silver candle because, like I said, silver is your metal. So I'm kind of connecting more with you. And let's see when the candle wax is going to tell me. The first thing I see the stars, so alignment with the stars, uh, it's usually stars to me represents astrology, so be more serious about astrology in your lifetime and maybe listen more to horoscopes. Uh, if you never did a natal chart, it's time for you to do that. It might like open up interesting events in your life that you should be aware of. Also, the candle was going like that, like it's, it started off like, and then like very um, intensely, and then it stopped like now. I think sometimes you are aligned with your element, you are aligned with your power, but sometimes you, you don't listen to it and you don't even want to think about this. It's like you're trying to avoid it, your inner magic, and and maybe sometimes your spirit guides don't like that. It's like they don't like that you don't practice, that you don't take it seriously. I feel like they don't they don't even want to talk to you i think the only reason why when i do readings for witches like you when there is no messages when the candle box doesn't work uh, i feel it has to do with them not wanting you to know anything it's like they don't want to send you any kind of like message they want you to come into your power yourself they want you to learn yourself and that's why they don't want to show me anything I'm still going to check the bottom of the box and see what's there. So what I see here is beautiful future and something ugly in the past. So you have this kind of guilt that's bothering you. Uh, it still doesn't let you go or move on. You have to move on. You have to forget the past. The past has no um, hold of you anymore. So as long as you're there, as long as you mentally go to this particular situation, to this particular event in your past, the future might not transform or take a shape or form that it's supposed to be. It's like your future is completely opposite of the past, but it's kind of the same. So it should be so intertwined. So the more you hold this guilt, the longer your future will not happen. This amazing miracle that's supposed to come your way uh, is all about how guilty you feel. There is no nothing that you did wrong. Whatever happened was destiny. You couldn't avoid it. That was the only situation that, that was given to you by the deities, the gods that you worship. It was meant to be, so nothing for you to feel guilty, nothing for you to think, nothing for you to dwell in. Let it go, forget, move on, and... You don't even have to learn from this. There is no lesson. It just happened because it needed to be happened in this lifetime. So it's not going to happen in the next one. And forget. You don't have to forgive. Just forget and remove it. I think this is it. This is what I've been show it, showed it. And uh, I sense that only good things are coming into your life. Your life will be amazing, uh, full of transformations. You will transform, you, even your physical body will be transformed soon. Uh, it's, you might look different. So if you're thinking about like changing your hair, hair color or haircut or uh, changing the way you look, like maybe new style, anything like that is the best time to do it now. Don't do any investments. Don't give money to anyone at the moment. Um, because the wheel of fortune is reversed so you need at least a few months before you feel the 
the abundance coming back to your life. So make sure that you don't waste your money on something that it's not for you. The only um, the only way you can spend the money now without affecting the future is by buying the things that you personally want or need or you want to buy. It's like for you or your family, like blood relatives, no one else. So don't lend money to anyone, even if they ask and you trust this person. At least they have to wait at least two, three months before you can give them the money. When it comes to traveling, the more the better. Uh, changing scenery location is beneficial to you and... When it comes to deity work, there is a new deity that's coming into your life. So if you feel the connection with someone special, like someone specific deity, make sure that you open up to this deity, invite this deity into your life and let this deity help you. Other than that, I think you know what you're doing. I think you know what you are. You are, you are amazing. Don't change. Always be yourself. And... Make sure that you believe in yourself more and that you love yourself more. Everything will be amazing. You're born under lucky stars, so never question the universe, never question the future, and everything will be okay. Thank you so much for the opportunity to do the reading for you. I hope all of your dreams and wishes come true and you will be always abundant, beautiful, healthy, and happy.